Democracy has been defined in many ways. We know that democratic words and forms have been written into laws. But it is the way people practice democracy that really counts. Let's ask this man about defining democracy. He studies communities and the way people live in them. He goes about his job scientifically, observing, recording, analyzing, and reporting. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Students of society have been reporting their observations and analyses for a good many centuries. And as yet, there is not one single definition of democracy that they would all accept. There is one point, however, that they would all agree on. And this is it. In thinking seriously of democracy, one must define his words carefully and use them consistently. When you have your own definitions clear, you know exactly what to look for in a community. Asking what the people want and then listening to what they want and then doing what they have asked you to do. Um, listening to the people is a general consensus. We need to stand up for once for our rights and um, the governments need to change their ways. You know, stop sending soldiers to kill other people all over the planet. You know, we need peace. We don't need this no more. It's time to change. And we will make the change. That's why we're here. Democracy is good, but we need a, we need a real one. What is a real, what's a real democracy? The real democracy means that the, the policy making for the public, not for the one people just the fake. You know, the, 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 the bank is really holding everybody's interest. A democracy is when people have equal access to have their needs um, met. That there is a sense that we are all being taken care of by each other and that people are not profiting off of other people's misery. I also believe it's taking care of the planet, environmentalism. That's what democracy is. Democracy, equality for everybody. I come from Chile, so we know what uh, democracy uh, is, and we fight for it. Because um, we, you know, a long time ago we had Pinochet, and it wasn't a democracy. For those of you that don't know what the people's mic is, what the people's mic is, this is it. This is it. To be um, to participate in a democratic uh, society, you don't have to be a member of a party. Um, you still have, even if you are not a member of a party, you can uh, vote for um, your representative or for a party. I'm here today because I'm part of the 99%. I think the system we have currently in place, in terms of uh, wealth, is. Uh, terribly uh, unequitable, I don't think it's sustainable, and I'm here for that reason. To me, democracy is when people get together and speak in a unified voice of what they want their society to be like. And then it is listened to and acted upon. That's democracy. Bureaucracy 
is when a group of people control the thoughts of others and control how others should live. That's not democracy. I, I saw I saw a clip of, of, of Harper talking about this movement uh, this morning, uh, saying that he he said um, that this mo this movement isn't going to gain traction in Canada because Canada is different from the U.S. We didn't bail out our banks and we didn't uh, we didn't. I don't know, like, just the recession happened differently here, but uh, he's trying to ignore all the lobbyists and all the control that's not in the hands of the people, that's in the hands of uh, corporations, which I guess, are like, legally are people, but uh, but they shouldn't be. Yeah, for now. Uh, that's a real problem. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much for that. Yeah. So we shall not be moved just like a tree that's standing by the water. We shall not be moved. We shall not. We shall not be moved. We shall not. We shall not be moved just like a tree that's standing by the water. We shall not be moved. Um, democracy to me is when um, everybody is given respect and dignity and has a chance to say what they feel and are listened to. Tell me what you think democracy is all about. Okay, so I think democracy is about, you know, coming to um, some kind of agreement for all the people where um, we work together and and um, whatever decisions the government makes reflects what the people uh, can agree on. Uh, I don't know, like, uh, it's hard because you, there's really no example um, right now, uh, in my opinion, but it's really where everybody is happy and there's a society that, you know, is working together and everyone's giving back, but everyone's able to take also. It's something I, I don't know, that's what I believe. I think you have a corrupted form of democracy. Um, I think it's listening to what people say and if it isn't what you like then ignore it and go on and do something else what what someone else has told you to do okay so in iceland um it was i guess i was where this whole financial meltdown started and with the banks there and then the government was um putting through austerity measures and telling the people they would have to pay down the debt that the banks had created and the people were really unhappy with that and then they had an election and they voted in the left-wing government that said they were not going to do that but then the left-wing government turned around and changed their mind and wasn't doing what they said they were going to do and so the people took down the government and put in place participatory democracy and they've put, put in place a committee and they've written a new constitution and now everything they're doing out in the open on Facebook and on YouTube. And another thing was they let their banks um, collapse and in fact it was not a problem, it was probably the best thing you could do. We need, uh, we need a different voice, you know. We need to listen to, to the people, not only to the politicians and the lawyers. Um, I think democracy is more than just going to vote every four or five years. I think it's equal access to the resources and uh, wealth of uh, the country you live in. And I think that it's probably, democracy has probably been co-opted by the banks and international financial institutions and the media, and I think maybe it's reached a critical mass now where people have realized things have gotten bad enough that it's time to uh, reinstill a sense of real democracy back into the system again because I don't think what we live in right now is democracy. It might be, you know, nominally a democracy, but I think for your average person it feels a lot more like uh, plutocracy or. Uh, 
the uh, dictatorship, really, dictatorship of uh, uh, selected interests and the money, you know, the money class. So I think this is an attempt to reset democracy and hold politicians accountable to the sort of rhetoric you hear um, and, and make them uh, bring back some real democracy to the system. That, that would be what democracy is for me. I hope that came out articulately enough. <laughs> okay. Oh, it didn't sound too rhetorical. their little input and um, since maybe we'll get there one day hopefully